The Fire of Liberty. It's a collection of writings collected, compiled by Esmond Wright. This is a Folio Society edition. It comes with this slipcover. Mine. I bought this used, so it's got a few little marks on it. Fire of Liberty is, well, let's have a look at the sign here. It's on the cover. It's, you can feel it's a tactile thing there between the cloth binding and the image underneath. Here's the spine. It's a Folio Society edition. It's bound, sewn bound on this paper. So the Fire of Liberty is a collection of writings about the United States Revolutionary War against Britain. And it's taken from writings of, of people who were actually there. So throughout there's a few notes to put you in the context of what's happening. And then there's some of the writing that we have. So always the same idea. We have some notes, let you know what's happening. And then we have the writing. What's interesting to me, and what makes this a little bit different from other similar books that I've read, is that so much of the writing is from the British point of view. At least as an American, I read a lot of American points of view about the war. And my guess is that the British, you know, British, irregular British person growing up doesn't read a ton about the Revolutionary War, the United States Revolutionary War. And so it's interesting to hear and to read the thoughts of the British at that time. As you can see, there are images throughout the book, and there's plenty of helpful notes telling you what's happening. It's a pretty interesting book. Uh, if you're, and, it, and it's short. There's not a lot to it. As, I mean, there's not like you're going to read through mountains. It's like around 250 pages. So yeah, if you have any interest at all, it's pretty cool the way that it's, you know, to get these these first-hand accounts of what was going on at the time. So there we have it. The Fire of Liberty. This is a Folio Society edition.